hello guys welcome to my channel better talent today we're gonna talk about how to insert update delete records in DynamoDB using Java so like um, what is the prerequisite for doing all these things so like you need to have AWS CLI set up on your workstation so laptop or desktop wherever you are working so it should be uh, the standard approach which you can find in AWS documentation how to do the AWS CLI setup and then next step will be you have to create a DynamoDB table so DynamoDB table you can create using AWS console so here's like console you go over here and create a new table but I have created my this table uh, using AWS CDK so if you want to create the table uh, using AWS CDK you can follow my this tutorial over here so how to create DynamoDB table using CDK so this is like a automated infrastructure so it's a DevOps approach so where a developer will create the DynamoDB table infrastructure also and you can find the like repository also everything is here so it pretty straightforward so go and give it a try for this also this is also a very good skill and we highly demand in market how you create your infrastructure or infrastructure as a code using your programming language of your choice so you can create the DynamoDB table using CDK using java python type scripts but my tutorial is based on the type scripts okay going back to the main so once we are done with this prerequisite so this is our like dynamodb client so this is the class main java class which will be triggering triggering all these insert get records update records and delete records and if you go here so this is my main java class i have created this maven project here so you can see it's a maven project maven dependencies everything is here so <clears throat> you will have a link of github repo so where you can find this code yeah, okay so now i will start with checking like okay so where is my dynamo db tables go to the explore item okay we're going to see the table here and how many items are there in the table so if you look at it there is no item at the moment so now we will go and insert the data in this table so now our program is getting started so like first it is going to call the insert data into DynamoDB table and if I gonna run this so it's in debug mode it's doing the processing and meanwhile we can look into the code so the yeah so the records are inserted now it is on the next line so before going to that I would like to show you these so we have inserted these three records with employee ID 118, 119 and 11120 so this is our partition key employee ID in the table so these three records are inserted now and table dot put item is inserting the record exactly so it's happening one by one three time and if you go and look over here so you should be able to see these three records now going to the next so now we want to get this data from DynamoDB table so it's just like we are reading it so now we have printed like all these records here so it's like printing two records so we have to go in the code and see okay how many records here so we are just printing two record over here so employee ID 118 and 119 so now going to the next so we are updating the record in this so go to the update records.java 
so what we are doing over here we are updating this one employee id 118 we are updating the employee name so previously it was if you will see for this previously for 118 employee name was pk now i have updated it to pk underscore updated and this is very important so if a record is existing and we have to add one more column or one more attribute so that is also possible so which is one of the best capability provided by nosql data store so every row can have its own schema so this is what we have done over here and you can see like we are having now four attribute for this record others have only three so i would like to show you this one here how it is showing you can see right so two 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 other four other this attribute is not applicable so it's empty now coming back to deleting the record so when we will execute this delete so here i am just deleting the record with employee id 120 and with return values so this is one of the good feature now added in the sdk so it will making a call what records deleted and then using this one we will be able to print that record which is delete deleted so sometime it could be required in the application also so let's go and so this is the item we have deleted so now we should left with only two items so if i will reflect refresh it yeah so you can see only two item are left now yeah so this is all about today so we have learned so it's very important this is a very good thing so in case if you want to integrate a nosql data store into your application and you are a java developer or java <coughs> engineer so this is a very quick tool or a code repository which can help you to integrate the dynamodb thank you so much for watching my video and please if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe because in future you're gonna get, keep on getting more and more aws services tutorial thank you so much